So now we have uh, the whole business around FDs turning into more. So what happens here? How was the journey there? So if FDs have to become, um, turn into more, and again, in banking, what happens is the, we can lend you money if you are active with us. Mm -hmm. If you're not active with us, can't lend you money. Sure. Simple. If you have 5 lakh rupees parked in a bank account for a year, why won't a bank give you a credit card with a 2 lakh rupee limit? You're safe. You have money. Sure. Salary is coming every month, right? And it is, it's, it's an X amount. That amount, obviously, we can give you as a credit line on a credit card, right? Similarly, you can give out um, a loan. Sure. You would have heard of an instant loan, pre-approved loan, just one click. Where does that come from? That comes from the fact that you have been active with the bank for a long duration of period where we have some confidence saying, okay, this guy has enough salary coming in consistently for 12, 24, 36 months. It is of a certain value. Hmm. Yes, this is a safe customer. If I give him a loan or her a loan, he or she will be able to pay it back to this extent. That's the simplest way That's of explaining so it. Yeah. So what is that actually? That is retention, right? That is customer being active. I'm going to zoom into the yeah. people side of things, the technology side of things and the data side of things. Yeah. So, you know, whichever is your favorite, please pick that up as the first one that, okay, at IDFC, now that you want to do this, from people and stakeholder management, the mindset shifts. I don't know what uh, kind of org this was and how did you navigate uh, that this is a mandate, that this is how the conversion flow should look like, this is how the friction needs to get removed. How do you optimize that whole experience? Yeah, so, so it has multiple stakeholders, as you Absolutely. rightly said, right? So, it's obviously a people thing, right? Uh, while traditional bankers know very well that this is the game. Open the account, get the people in, then hold, just hold on to them. Till the end they are eligible for a loan or a card. And then go back to them, sir, do you want to loan? Card, yeah, sure. I've got a card for you, sir, please, here are the mm. benefits. The, the traditional banker knows this mm. very well. The digital marketeer, because the industry is very acquisition focused, um, knows this. But executing it is still, I would feel, in the industry, not to name any organization, but general banking industry, it is still evolving. Early days. Right? Sure. This, uh, the entire onboarding, retention, being able to digitally activate the customer when you feel that the customer is not giving you their entire business is something Shall that needs it. to be stitched. We hmm. know it. Everyone does it. But everyone is doing it in pieces, I feel. Right? Sure. So that's where, uh, you know, would you have somewhere a dashboard that, okay, X number of people have been acquired on FDs or whatever entry point into the banking ecosystem. Now, out of it, Y percent has now moved from the first interaction to the second uh, intimate interaction, which is, let's say, a, you know, a, maybe a smaller loan or maybe a smaller credit card or something. And then you have a KPI around moving X number of people from here to here on a quarterly basis with whatever activities you do in terms of campaigns, in terms of automation, in terms of their app experiences. So how is that journey navigated, uh, both from a people, process and, you know, uh, technology standpoint? So people and processes are definitely there. Mm -hmm. Guy will today pick up the phone and call you. Because they will know. The default that, yeah, uh, because of now somebody is doing uh, an RM or whatever will try and call you and give you Exactly. The RM will pick up the phone and call you and say, look, um, I've seen that you've done X, Y, Z. Hmm. I would recommend that you do this. Hmm. Also, or just take a buy insurance. But now, if I were to notice the SMSs slash uh, app message that we keep getting from banks lately, there is usually you have a pre-approved limit of this X level. And I've not usually found this to be a very intelligently done job. Even with a bank that I've done banking for the last 20 years or, you know, another bank which has been my credit card for the last 10 years, the way they've done this data analysis or whatever, either they're being consciously very secure or safe or protective or they just don't know what they're doing. So, There's something wrong. No, so it is, it is about technology and people, right? The incentive structure is about getting more in to the bank, right? So, can I sell more? Yeah. Is basically everyone's job, right? Um, what technology needs to solve is by doing not an actual sale, I'm still enabling a future sale. Huh. That part is not very stitched together in most organizations, I will say. What is the revenue impact of me sending you a happy birthday message, for example. Sure. What is the revenue impact of me giving you financial advice as opposed to cross-selling to you? 